guys, of course you know who it is. It's the one and only Antoinette Yvonne and welcome to my channel. Uh, <laughs> as you can see, I'm in a new setup. I'm in uniform and my face is beat. So what do you think is going on here? Well, you clicked on the video, you read the title, that means I'm bringing you my go-to work makeup look. But before we get into this video, if you are new here, I am a faith travel beauty vlogger slash blogger, and thanks for stopping by. I want us to be friends. Do you want to be friends? If so, go ahead and hit that subscribe button right there. If you have been rocking with me for quite some time, then you already know how I feel about you. Much hugs and kisses to you. But without further ado, let's get into this, uh video i wanna follow where she goes i think about it and she knows it i wanna let her take control but every time you can getting close yeah i don't know the full song i'm um, sorry guys so now that my eyebrows are done i'm going to work on my lids and i like to work on my eyelids my eyeshadow before i put on my foundation so today i'm going to be working with my all-time favorite holy grail product and because this is my go-to quick work look i carry this product these two products everywhere so i'm taking the original morphe palette here and what i do is i mix those two and it serves as a great transition color for me i'm just going to put that in the crease there did i not clean that brush good enough because i see a little bit of pink in there ah so I'm going to just put that in my transition area. And for those who don't know what a transition area is, it is the area between your brow bone and your eyelid. And it's right here. Always want to put a transition shade in there. So all of the colors that you mix between your brow bone, your crease, and your lid color. So the colors will mix and blend beautifully. I'm taking my other morphe palette and guys i honestly i don't know i've had this for so long i don't know the name of it but i know it is morphe as you can see i've hit bottom and i'm taking this purplish shade here and i'm also adding that to my transition color to add a little bit more color to the crease okay all right i see i see the color i see you Burst through, blending that on out. This monitor looks pretty good. It doesn't look good on the camera, but the monitor is, is giving me life. It's giving me life right now. We're going to use this same palette that I used the purplish color from. And I'm going to get this lid popping. And these brushes, the brush that I just used is just a regular. This is a Sigma. <gasps> Uh, Sigma something brush just a fluffy something brush mm -hmm. and then the color that I'm using now is also Sigma and it's just a flat top brush and I'm going to take this color here it's right next to the purple shade it's like a dark rose gold color and I'm going to paint my lid with that paint this lid paint this lid so if you haven't done so already, if you don't know that my airline has actually opened up the application window. So if you are looking to be a part of the Passport Plum, <laughs> go get your life. So I'm going back in with that purplish shade, that transition shade again, and just adding a little bit more definition here. Kind of go crazy with this. Um rose gold color I've had this palette for so long I don't even know the top is off I don't even know like the name of it so now I'm going to go back in with the other morphe palette and use this dark brown color here and hit the corners of this eye to smoke it out a little bit and you see I'm dragging it a little bit in the crease area just to the middle of my lid there not all the way in, just a little bit. So when I blend it out, it all blends together perfectly. And for that color, I just used a tapered eyeshadow brush. And now I'm going back in with the same brush that I used for my transition color. And I'm not putting any more color on there. I'm just going to blend out the colors that I used previously just so it can blend better. 
And I'm going back in with this tapered brush. I'm not putting any additional color on there, but hitting that corner again. Back with this brush and blending it on out. Really, there's nothing much to, well, it is to make up. I can't say there's nothing much to make up, but the key is blending. That is the thing. The key is to blend. You gotta blend. You gotta work that wrist, girl, and blend. All right, so now what I'm going to do is my foundation. And today, I think I'm going to use my NARS in the color New Chalcedona. My color is dying down from the summer, so sometimes it's difficult for me to shade match. I'm taking this NYX foundation brush and just buffeting in my skin. I'm trying to see how this color translates to this monitor because in person it matches. I don't want it to be too red. Let me get on down to my neck and as you guys can see my neck is significantly darker than the rest of my body. I do not shade match with my neck. I shade match with the rest of my body. So I do blend down. Uh, so I'm just going to press that in, press that foundation in. Instead of swiping, I'm just going to press the foundation in, just press it on in. Now I'm going to go back in with my same concealer, the Born Too Faced Born This Way um, concealer and begin to highlight. Oh, pause. So what I found guys is when I solely use my Too Faced Born This Way concealer, when I solely use that under my eyes, I begin to crease like right in this area here. So what I do now is take my LA Girl Pro my LA Girl Pro Conceal. Is it? What is it? What the heck is it? LA Girl Pro Conceal Girl. Whatever it is. My LA Girl Conceal. Okay, you know what I'm talking about. The You know, the famous LA Girl. And I am the color Fawn. So I'm just going to dab a little bit under my eyes. This looks a little light, actually. And use that before I go in with the... Um, with the Too Faced concealer. All right, so now that we get that out the way, I'm going to now go in with my Too Faced concealer and continue to highlight the rest of my face. Hit my nose, then hit my chin. I do this because I like to look highlighted. I like this area and this area and this area like all highlighted okay so if you don't like to do it if you don't like to highlight at all then don't do it but this is what I do so I'm going to do it my favorite the Sasha buttercup buttercup me please I'm going to set that concealer sometimes I, I bake sometimes I don't today I just don't feel like baking or maybe I do we'll see I never know until I actually do it I, didn't, I was starting to crease as you can see. I creased extremely easily so I was starting to crease and I just wanted to plop that powder on there. I do go in and make sure those um, cheeks are carved so my face can look skinty. <laughs> now I'm going to do a little bit of contouring. A lot of it actually because like I said I like my face looking skinny and snatched. But first, let me get this nose. I don't know what the brand name it is, but I did get it from my local beauty supply store and I, I swear by it. So I use what works for my face and this works for me. So I'm gonna to continue to use it until I find something better. And then we're gonna to begin to blend it, right? I take the same blender brush that I use for my brows and I blend this out on my nose make sure there's no harsh lines snatching this nose out this is just a contour brush here or your blush this is your blush brush but I use it for my contour cheeks and I blend that out I use my makeup forever pro finish in the color uh, 185 
taking my Sedona Lace Collection Foundation Powder Brush, whatevs, and just blending everything out. I'm setting that foundation. I'm blending out the contour and the um, Sasha Buttercup Highlight or Translucent Powder. Translu okay. Translucent Powder. I always say Translucent. Double it on the eyes and the eyebrows. Set that there. And we're pretty much done with the face right now. I'm going to go. No, we're not done with the face. I lied. I lied. Okay, I just lied. I'm going in with my my all time all time favorite blush is my Mac. Um, have I hit bottom on this one? No, I haven't hit bottom on this one. However, the case is broken, and I don't know what color it is. But it's like a sis, get your life. This color here it's so pretty it's my all-time favorite I'm going to take this brush that I don't know where I got it from and get that blush popping <laughs> this hair is getting on my last nerve and I cannot wait to switch I need a new hairstyle guys so let me know what I should be rocking now I'm looking at my eyes and I just think I need to get this dark color together I just felt like it wasn't popping enough for me so now I'm going to finish my eyes and use my liquid use my liquid eyeliner that I got from forever 21 an all-time favorite liner like no lie it is seriously the bomb um and let's wing it out start that wing start that wing and dip and let's finish the wing shall we I love a winged eye I kind of go overboard with it but I really don't care because that's just me so I'm going to take <laughs> my favorite all-time mascara I can never find this mascara y'all I, I like I never find it I got it from forever 21 and it's really legit the bomb it's in the gold tube you know what let me not tell y'all my little secrets because every time I go it's always out of stock or maybe they just don't sell it anymore I don't know but somebody be getting them snatching them from me but no seriously um this is in the gold tube from forever 21 and I absolutely love it like I've tried a ton of mascaras high-end low end middle end <laughs> and nothing really works for me man nothing like you see like ooh, ooh. like you see that maybe you don't see the difference but in person I see the difference and this lash is legit the bomb I almost never well honestly I never line the bottom of my waterline just because I don't see the point for me. Um, I always just top it with some mascara and go. So that's just, I mean, that's just something I do. Before I put my eyelashes on, I'm going to get the highlight popping, okay? And I'm going in with <laughs> Moscow Mule and Ginger Mixed. I mix these two because I'm just that extra. Um, y'all seen that get y'all life like for real cuz I seen it I seen it on the monitor I just got my own life you feel me I put a little bit here put a little bit here a little lot of it there a little bit there and I'm just saying they can't tell me nothing so let's go in with my lashes I like my little lash case it's cute huh it says lash addict <laughs> it really depends on the look with this look because this is my go-to um work look I switch up my eyelashes sometimes I would go dramatic sometimes I go simple but because I want to make sure the eye is shown today seen today shown today is that a word so just almost finished with this look oh I could have did it that way don't mind my edges y'all okay just, I'm just gonna go in with a simple lure, a simpler eye lash today. I did go a little bit too overboard on this eye winged eye line. 
nerve. But um, you know what? Yolo. We are almost finished with this look. Guys, this is the look. This so this is my go-to. And there was a lot of steps because I'm filming it and I'm trying to explain it to you all. But literally, I only legit. I'll be right back. And voila, guys, this is the finished result. So this is it, guys. This is my holy grail go-to legitimately work look. That was that was a lot. It's simple enough. For, I think it's simple. Um, for me, it's quick. I only use three colors on the eyes. Of course, I prep, prime, and do all the skincare stuff, but I use my foundation. I use, I mean, it's just simple. It may be a lot of steps to you if you're not really used to putting on, you know, doing a makeup application, but to me, it's simple. Try it and let me know what you guys think in the comments below. But yeah, that's all I got for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. <laughs> But if you haven't done so already, like, share, comment down below, and don't forget to subscribe. As always, guys, stay inspired, keep dreaming, and be blessed. That, that, that's too far to reach. I just can't do it. I can't reach the camera like that. It's just, it's like, eh, you know, I can't do all that. Let's try this again. Stay inspired, keep dreaming, and be blessed.